Welcome to the Hammer members, 405th members, and the Hunters of members, and YouTube fans. Um, it's a Vicky here. Alright, today's uh, video is going to be a little discussion on uh, padding and visors. Um, I had a couple guys on YouTube asking me about uh, how to install visors, what to put padding, how to put padding in, stuff like that. Um, so, first thing I want to discuss is the two types, or three types of visors. Uh, we have single layer, dual layer, and then dual layer plus um, and uh, custom. Okay, the first one we're going to discuss will be um, your single. Okay, this is one that's got a single in it. Uh, not necessarily. Um, this one may require more than one, but right now I got a single in. So that's a single visor. Okay. Then you have, which is your dual layer plus, meaning one or two visors in it. Uh, I don't know how easy that is for you all to see. Uh, you'll see one visor here and a visor behind it. Okay, so that's a dual visor. Alright, and then you have a custom visor. Most custom visors like your security, your EVA, and your ODST. Okay, and that's a custom visor. Um, what I use for my visors, uh, for your harder angles, I use a uh, welding visor. You can get them really cheap on eBay, five for like $13. And you can probably at least get three visors for your recons, uh, one visor for your larger helmets like your Mark VI. But what's good about them is they're very flexible. And if someone takes a photo of you, like right now you can see through, but if someone takes a photo of you, it reflects the glare and does not allow it to see your face. Whereas your normal motorcycle visor, you can still see your face behind it with a flash from the camera. So this you can cut with a pair of scissors. Okay, cut the scissors and put them in. Um, now, normally for my Mark Sixes and stuff like that, my larger ones, I used to use standard uh, motorcycle visors. This is not exactly the one I use. I use the uh, the gold ones. I see only use the blue one or blue one there. So. Uh, they range, your motorcycle visors can range between $20 and uh, $35, okay? It's obviously, dual visor, you'll need $70 for your visors. The way to install them is simple. Uh, you are going to cut them slightly larger than the open area. Now, motorcycle visors, you'll need a dremel to cut, okay? You'll get a marker, you'll mark it, cut it out, and I'll glue it along the hole in the tire edge. I'll glue it in. It's that simple. Padding, onto padding. Padding will be put in the same way. Hot glue. Preferably your high temp so it stays hot longer, you can press it into place. Or you can use a Velcro. Velcro is another technique. Padding comes in various types. You can actually get a motorcycle helmet liner. Okay, go on eBay, look that up, and you'll find liners that you can put in inside your helmets. Make sure you get the appropriate size for the appropriate helmet. I used to have some with the helmet liner or with the helmet liners in, but I've taken them out or sold those helmets. You can also use this big, cheap, fluffy stuff that you can get from Walmart. Okay, cut it in nice strips that you need. You put your helmet on. You're gonna see if you got wobble on the sides, and if it needs to go up, you got wobble in the front and back. And obviously, you want to start. Put a little bit of padding on the sides to hold it from wall side to side. You want to put it on top, the cushion the top of your head, um, and then the back, and then the front to keep it going from back and forth. All right, you can get that foam in different uh, widths, um, and you can cut it yourself in different lengths. Uh, you'll see here, on one of these helmets here, I have some of the padding in. You create a little dome. Very comfy, all right, very easy. Nothing spectacular, it's yours, it doesn't matter what the inside looks like. Then, some of my helmets actually have, not that one, this one, okay, actually has a different style, you probably can't see it, right here, and right here. In this case, I use Velcro, and I ordered some Kevlar, actually I had them, because they're the old ones, one in Iraq, but these are the new, uh, uh, new Kevlar pads. Very uh, foamy, very comfy. I just put a piece, a square piece of the male Velcro in each of the spots you want to place these in. And they just sit in place like so. 
and I have one here, one here, and one up top. That's if you have a little more of a snug fit helmet that you don't need a whole lot of padding, but you need a little bit of padding. Okay, so uh, padding is very simple. That's the dual visors. I'm sorry, I'm going to bounce back to the visors. That's what I do. Um, the dual visors, what you're going to do is you have your, your single visor, which is your normal visor, already cut to go in place. And your second visor is going to sit on top of the first visor. You're going to have to go into Photoshop or some type of, um, some form of um, video or Im image editing, okay? You take a piece of paper, put it on the inside of this helmet, trace the shape of your cavity right here, your visor cavity. At that point, you're going to take that, if you can, scan it, take it into Photoshop, and from there, you're going to draw on your secondary visor, the top visor, the detail visor, is what I call it. You're going to draw that on there. Clean it up through Photoshop or whatever image uh, program you're using. And then you're going to print it out. And that's going to create your template. And use a template on your second visor. Second visor should be cut the same size as the first visor. So once it's right on top of the other. The only difference is you're going to put your template on that and trace it with marker so your visor is marked. And use a journal tool and cut it out. And then you'll fasten it with hot glue or super glue to the under visor. And then mount it in the same technique with the hot glue around the edges. Now there are other techniques out there on how to put your visors in and how to put your padding in, what padding to use, what visors to use, okay? But this is a quick, simple uh, little technique for you all to use. Um, and it will handle, your padding will handle anything from Mark 6. This is the SPMK6. And another SPMK6 full dual visor. And then you got your Brandon McLean. Right now, single visor will be probably a triple visor by the time I'm done with it. Same method as the double visor, you just have to do two templates on top of my phone, bring it again. Back to making videos, I guess. Your custom visors will have to be back formed and uh, off the buck. And the buck is when you make this helmet what's already here. Okay, obviously, your pep file kept the shape of what's already here. When you cut that out, you harden it up, and that creates a buck for you. And then you get some styrene and you get your heat table. Uh, give it Sean Bradley, he's the master at that. And then, or Link as well. Or even if you can track down an old friend of mine, Rube. Okay. Um, this is a Rube visor right here. Okay. Um, you will vac form your styrene, your tinty styrene over top of your buck. You can even do it with small pieces like this, you can even do it in your oven. Lay your buck down, heat up your oven. Put your buck in there, heat it up, put your styrene on it, and let it, it will sink down into place. This is a small piece, not a big piece, okay? It takes a little bit more time, but it can be done. And there you go. I hope that answers the questions about visors and padding, the different types, different methods. Uh, if there are any more questions, just hit me with a video response or hit me up with a message. It might take me a while to get back to you, but eventually I will try to answer your questions. Uh, and this is Ithaca from SoaringHammer.com. I'm also a mod on 405th.com, and I'm also a member on the Um I keep my same screen name. Look me up. Remember, if we can do it, so can you.